Hey everyone, it's Victoria, and today I actually have a few kitchen tips you might benefit from, like I do. Uh, if you have a salad and you don't want to eat it right away, or you have guests coming, whoever you want to prepare it for, and you have a couple of hours and you don't want to put it just in the refrigerator, and you don't want to just leave it out because it'll wilt, you take a paper towel and you wet it and you squeeze out the excess water, place it on top of your salad, and that should keep it crisp for a few hours. That's one tip. Second tip is I have a um, sponge that always seems to smell after two or three days. I guess being in Hawaii, it's hot or whatever, but I keep it in a Tupperware or a dish of soap, soapy water. And honestly, it does the trick. It takes away any smell that it had. And what else am I doing? Um, I was inspired at the Woodstock Fruit Festival very much by the classes this year. I've gone to more classes than I could remember that I've gone to in the last three years. And um, going to the classes and lectures have really kept me back on my track. And I want to stay raw, so I feel much better on raw. And I, and I do feel better knowing the science behind it and how many things I could prep. You know, and also get my kids in on, in on it. And now that they're older, they can understand more. So they went to some food prep classes that Dr. Graham has given and Alicia had given, the chef. And honestly, they said, if you did this, I would eat it. So I'm going to be working more in the kitchen and feeling like instead of cooking some cooked starches, I cook or uncook dehydrated stuff and they could get the same benefits that I'm getting, at least for the most part. Uh, I did the cauliflower dipped in a sauce that if it was just plain loose sauce it would just fall off but because if I added a um, because I added a fat like tahina it will stick to it like a batter so that's what I did I put tomatoes red bell pepper cumin garlic powder and sea asparagus but some people use um, I don't know if I mentioned tomatoes. Um, some people use celery. They don't, can't get to see asparagus. So that's what I use for that saltier taste. Um, blended that all together in a Vitamix and dipped in kale, spread it out on a sheet. And I only have a four tray dehydrator, so it's not going to be much. So I have one tray of kale, one tray of broccoli. Broccoli is a pretty big florets. And the house smells like a pizza. I got to tell you, it smells really good. So. In order to trick your brain that you're eating cooked foods, I say dehydrate some stuff. If you're transitioning, put some garlic in there, put some spices, get it going. Um, eventually, you might simplify anyway, but right now, stay raw if you're transitioning like I am. I found it very hard to do. Just eating simply um, and not complicating things made me a little bit bored, to be honest, because I was so used to complication. And um, as crazy as that sounds, it really was my downfall. Um, I'm adding more green. I'm adding just barley uh, green powder also. I think that's helping me stay balanced. I didn't have greens for a very long time being on a starch diet. You seem to get less good with your greens when you're on a starch diet because you feel like you're satisfied but you don't need any greens and if you're going to have greens then you're just going to bulk up and maybe put on some fat on it and you're just going to feel like it's like empty calories. It's not empty calories. I really believe in minerals. I really truly believe in minerals and vitamins now. I do. And however you get them, and you can't get it from rice, and you can't get it from pasta, unless it's added to it and that's synthetic. So no thank you for me. Uh, been there, done that. I do believe that people that get fat phobic are going to miss out on a lot of nutrients. and their bodies are not going to absorb the nutrients as well as which is what happened to me and if you do get injured you're kind of crap out of luck because your body's just going to hold on to a lot more starches because that's what it does it just holds on to starch unless you're running a lot and I've said this many times you're going to be stuck with those starches really sticky sticky stuff in your body not a pretty sight not not good for your body um Staying hydrated, you'd have to stay extra, extra hydrated to do that. I'm in a warm climate right now. I mean, people that are in a cold climate, I get it more. But even then, I'd say go for peas and make a pea soup, like Dr. Graham made a pea soup. And you could easily have that with veggies in a Vitamix and blend it till it's warm. You don't have to have piping hot food. You'd burn your mouth anyway. It doesn't make sense to have piping hot food. A warm soup here and there, fine. But to go with starches, I think that, that you're doing a, your body a disservice to keep doing starches over and over and over again. And then there's the, ad, the addict thing, like the addictive thing. 
can you do some starches? Some people keep going. They keep on eating it because they're addicted and because it filled them up the day before. I know all about it. I was a starch person. I, I used to think that the fat you ate it was the fat you wear. I'm going to keep talking about this because I think that it's very important. Now, a lot of raw food has put um, oils in their uh, dishes. Like last night, I had raw food at a farmer's market, and it's their a la carte menu, but they are actually a, um, what is it called, grape and vine? It's an actual restaurant in Honolulu, which is like a half hour from me. So I took the benefits of having the a la carte menu, and I had a lasagna, and I think, I think it was just... It had olive oil in it, and I just, it's a little too heavy. My stomach hurt in the middle of the night, a little too many nuts. Um, so I think that going a little here and there with fat is okay, but not all the time. Just add a little bit. It goes a long way. The few teaspoons of tahina in the dehydrated stuff, like kale chips, is not going to kill you. Um, I do believe in the balance of minerals, though, and the fats, and I don't think it's all about calories. I don't because you could survive on green juice and that tells me a lot. People have a lot of energy on greens, a lot. Um, some of, the, some of the, the greens are actually stimulating. Anyway, I'm not saying that's all you should eat. I'm saying add it to your diet. Even if you're on starches, make sure you eat greens. Make sure you eat your greens. It really, really is a world of a difference. I found it much more balancing. Okay, that's what I have to say for now. hope you got something out of it. Have a great day. Have a great night. Bye.